No, but you're saying you're in the midst of fixing up the computer Yeah, because, I, because I've known that, well, I came in here, tried to get on, and then I realized everything's been unplugged. So you unplugged the... I just unshut, I shut off the modem. The and modem. I pulled the power supply on the And on the, the switch router. and the router. That's right. So you shut everything off. There you go. Oh, so well, that's not a big deal. You plug them back in again. Well, I plugged them back in, but it's not working any more than it before. So what? I don't what? understand. Nothing's working. So it's whatever it is, I mean, it's working. Whoa. The router is working, but uh, you didn't change anything. Can you, can you go in the network? The you, network works. No. The network doesn't work so either? I don't even know. I'd have to. No. Have to. All I did, I swear, I just pulled the power supply. No. Yeah, but I why didn't you do plug. what I asked you? Just unplug the thing, wait 10 seconds, That's and plug I, it back no, in. No, no, I just unplugged it. That's what you're supposed off. to do. No. no. I said unplug it for 10 seconds, then plug it back in. Well, if I plugged it back in, I would have had to reset everything. No. No, no unplugging it is what resets it, John. My brother and I have warehouses. We have several warehouses. And there's a saying in the machinery business that warehouses is where machinery dealers store their mistakes. So my brother and I, I'm afraid, have made a, or bought a very large number of mistakes in the last 30 years. We were able to uh, get ourselves in really deep trouble with uh, vast amounts of inventory that uh, have stuck with us some of it, probably still have some of it now, uh, 35 years later. Uh, almost for sure, actually, we have some of that equipment still 35 years later. And uh, I have machines in California, and I have machines all sprinkled around the U.S., and I have machines I've forgotten where they are, and I have machines in, in Philadelphia, I think, uh, that weigh, you know, 30,000 pounds a piece. I don't even remember the addresses where they're at. At that point, we were able to handle huge, huge, huge machines. Uh, so, of course, when the opportunity came up, we bought huge, huge, huge machines. And uh, we were there for several years until the city of Montreal bought the building and decided that uh, we didn't fit the, the profile. Uh, we didn't fit the profile that they wanted in the building. Uh, incidentally, they were the only owner of that building that managed to lose money with it in the last 30 years. As I mentioned before, the Chinese came along around the 1980s. We could see the effect of the Chinese juggernaut taking over the world of commerce uh, people were making early stabs at going into China to get special deals, labor costs, and ignoring all the laws which normal Western society would have to obey, like norme de travail, where working rules, working conditions. Uh, this allowed them to produce things at a very, very low cost. Not an individual company, but everyone combined. The materials were also produced in factories, and those factories are equally ignoring the obligations of factories in Western society. Là, je sais pas, tu sais, c'est comme un travail d'enquête que vous faites. Moi, je, je, je sais pas sur quoi ça va déboucher. Je fais juste dire mon petit bout de que je sais, là, ou que j'ai vu, ou que je pense avoir vu. Mais euh, euh, j'ai rencontré Robin il y a ça fait presque 20 ans. Une scène typique, ben, c'est de rouler sur des carrés puis de voir. Euh, un vieux véhicule euh, sur l'accotement avec un vieux trailer avec une vieille machine penchée sur le côté avec un corps de police et puis Robin qui est en train d'expliquer pourquoi ou comment il a pu euh, oser s'aventurer sur des voies publiques avec, euh, avec un attirail pareil, ça je l'ai vu plusieurs fois. Les hurlements de John au téléphone. And the city officials are retiring and joining the executive of the Knut of the Knut, and those companies are sending their guys in to act for the city. Uh, and this is all supposed to be clean because it's getting, my taxes that are going are and your taxes. Getting... Eventually, hopefully, it'll be their robots killing our robots, and nobody, will, so no human being will get killed. But anyway, uh, the point is that a large quantity of people are not involved anymore in the in the grubby and manufacturing. Their hands don't get dirty. They don't do any real work. As of course we've all seen with the rates of obesity and diabetes going up, uh, people are not doing much physical work anymore. Actually, kids today, they're not even bothering to talk to each other. They sit there side by side, as my manager says his kids do, side by side with their friends texting each other three feet apart. I mean, how much more ridiculous can it get? And uh, when their lease was up, we then had a party loft, and that's how we got into the party business. So we're partly in the machinery business, which is now dying. We're partly in the real estate uh, business, and we're partly in the party business, which is a developing field that we're that we're going into more aggressively now. Uh, it seems that even with a bad economy, uh, people want to forget their lives and they want to party. Similar to a video game, with things flashing and booming and in and out, they have to have video that cuts in and out. No time to reflect. The camera's going in and out and zooming in and out and out of focus and up and down. The volume's changing. 
And the whole thing is reflected similarly to the dances that are held. But we have a lot of people out there. They need continuous, dynamic change in their sensory input, both visual and audio, to apparently even remain interested in living. I mean, what's the point of it all? They're not accomplishing anything. The youth of this country has become a belly button gazing hedonistic society that's lost its way and it doesn't know what to do with itself. Luckily, we can make some money by renting out the parties. And uh, eventually, my dad had a stroke, my mother caught pneumonia, my mother passed away, my father has to take care, we have to take care of him as well. Hello. This is John here, hi. Uh, 